Well, I can't believe I did that. G'day. Welcome back. Uh, this week, a couple of funny things sort of happened that wasn't the normal way things I was hoping. people welcome back and um, this week is something a little bit different uh, I just thought I'd share a couple of things that happened in the last week and I'm a bit disappointed with myself really one of the, the first things that happened was I ordered a toolbox to go on the back of the camper and one thing my father always taught me being an ex-builder was measure twice cut once well in this case I measured two or three times and then placed the order for the box to go on the back of the camper I knew it was going to be a little bit small but I thought I had done all the measurements right it turns out it is probably a bit small for the camera. <laughs> I'm still going to try and use it because I like the look of it I want to go away from these um, tread plate look um, toolboxes on the back I wanted something that looked more stylish with the fiberglass and so on so I'm still going to persevere with it but I cannot believe that I actually mucked it up to the extent I did so that was the first thing uh, what was the other thing that happened um, I'll have to think about this oh yes yes um, I wonder if any of you spotted the mistake that I made uh, in this last week. It's got something to do with timing. And see if you can pick out what it was. And if you know what it was, put it in the comments below. I'd love to see if uh, any of you has picked it up. Anyway, enough with all the mistakes and so on. Um, what I love is getting uh, stuff in the mail. And this week, I've got something that I want to put on the camper because I've been doing a bit of work on the trim around the edges of the camper just to tidy it up. So as, you, as you've seen in the last video, all the painting's now been done. So now it's just a matter of doing all the trim work, which means the infill for the aluminium that runs down the edge of the camper. Uh, so I went ahead and did that. So have a look at this. Another new parcel has arrived. I wonder what this could be. It's a silver stripping for the camper van. So this is the trim I picked up off Trade Me actually. Uh, 10 mil wide so we're just going to stick that in And that's what the finished product looks like. Nice good trim all the way down. Looks good. Gives it that nice finished edge. Well, that's the edging put on. I hope it, it will hold. If it doesn't, I've still got plenty left over so we'll see how that goes and uh, I'm quite happy with the way it looks I think it looks 
quite tidy so it's a thumbs up so that's how I managed to do the trim on the, the edge it was pretty easy really um, so now that's been done um, as you probably aware I've already stuck on the the name badges on the camper and that and I now want to put the oval grill button well grill button what am I talking about grill button grill badge in the on the camper because the one that's on it looks a bit manky but um I noticed they're held on by 3M tape so I'm gonna I don't want to really want to take the, the whole grill off the front of the um camper I just want to be able to put this one on so in order to do that, I'm probably going to have to quietly drill some little small holes and then see what I can find and peel it back. So let's go ahead. And of course, when I go to start to work on the camper, Along comes the rain. So I will take a break and we'll go and have a look at a trip we did down to a model place down on the way to Thames in Koku. So let's go and have a look at that and see if we can get back to working on this camper. So we'll cross to that now. And heading south on State Highway 1 down the Southern Motorway down to Pocono and out towards Thames we called in to the Model barn.
Huh. And we're on our way to Tickawada. Coming into Tickawada. So here we are in Tickawada. Right. And we stopped off for lunch at this place in Ramarama. Is that right? Sorry. <laughs> we stopped off at this place at Rangariri. I'm getting instructions on the boss here again because I always say names of places wrong, but never mind. Anyway. And here's a what I reckon is a pretty neat letterbox. <laughs> Look at this. Now you can have a letterbox that looks like a New Zealand icon. A little bit like me, eh? <laughs> so this is Rangariri, and we are here. And this is what it looked like in 1951. And at the top left, up there is the hotel. This is the old Great South Road. But now the road travels along this way. Now if I turn around, that's the road there where the cars are traveling now, just along, along here. Well, that's the Rangariri Hotel. So we're off. Now back to the job at hand, getting this front badge sorted on the um, courier. So first they had to scrape away, get rid of all the rough rubber bits that were underneath the original badge, and then give it a good clean with some mineral tips. 